to Jung Jungkrist Hope. However the hell you pronounce this, I don't know. Noonkris, maybe. Please, some characters speak it out loud. Hostile presence, oh no. Spooky Guardian Beast. Get out of here, stinky beast. Thank you, Mr. Soldier. Level 70 Warrior. Okay, we try again. Sorry to keep you waiting. I see you've met the golems. Looks like the old stories were true, eh? In a way, I'm glad. Right then, time to climb. Oh yeah. Let's get some sweet rock climbing action in. It's good for your fitness. Have plenty of pictures to post on Instagram. That took a bit more out of me than I expected. And here she is, Nuncris Hope, the Ark that one man made to save countless others from the Flood during the Sixth Umbral Era. It's pretty sweet looking. It's comforting to think that there have always been people who care this much about their fellow man, who accomplished such great feats that people couldn't help thinking they must be made up. But the proof's right here, isn't it? It kind of looks like Nikola Tesla's vehicle. That Velocipede or whatever. I don't just mean the ship, you know. I mean you. Long before anyone started calling you a hero, you were there for those in need. You did things for people when you didn't have to. Sometimes even when they didn't want you to. It can't have been easy, staying true to yourself. But we're all better for it, me included. I'll never be a leader like Conrad, or Hien, or my father. Shut up, Buttercup. But I can be a friend to you all, and I can fight by your side. I can be me. And that'll just have to be enough, eh? Strange to think back on it. If we'd been standing in different places, or if the shell had struck the tower differently, it would have been me instead of Conrad. Or maybe both of us. What kind of monster murders their own? Uh, is that smoke coming from Castromabania? Wait, it's it's coming from the cannon! I can't tell what happened from here, but I can tell that it won't be giving us any trouble in the immediate future. This is our chance, Zumakalis. To avenge Conrad and all the others who died in the tower, friend and foe. To take Castro Mavania and bring the bastards who gave the order to fire to justice. It won't be easy after the losses we took, but I know everyone's ch champing at a what? I know everyone's chomping at the bit to strike back. With the right plan, I'm certain we can do it. 
We have to tell the others. Come on. Yep, thank you, Estinian. Dragoon bro to the rescue. Just landed a devastating blow on that tank. Or, what was it? The Ceruleum Pipeline? Easier down than up, eh? Though not necessarily safer. Anyway, no time to rest. We need to convince the others to strike now, before the Imperials have time to fix their cannon. Yes, we do. Do I want this? 285 Grimoire? It's only marginally better. Really. But at the same time, what else am I going to use? Then I'll be able to take a an Uchigatana. For a sword. Neat. Still giving me level 5 materia? Yeah, it's not that great. There's no time to lose, Zumagatis. General Alden needs to know what we saw. Hey, teleport. Do it. <clears throat> you are returned. I only hope you bring good news. We scaled the cliffs of Nuncrest Hope and spied smoke rising from Castro Mabania's main cannon. I think Marshal Terrapin's right. They didn't fire again because they couldn't. The cannon seems to have been disabled somehow. I think we must attack Castro Mabania at once. Hmm. It could still be a trick. But if it isn't, we may not get a better opportunity. But until you, General, if it is a trick, it is an utterly baffling strategy. Had the Imperials wished to wipe us out, they could have simply kept fire. Be that as it may, we need not risk everything to seize it. I say we dispatch a small contingent to infiltrate the castrum and secure control of the weapon. If the enemy is preoccupied with repairs, we may be able to take them unawares. But that rhymed. If, on the other hand, it is indeed a trick, our token force will prove an elusive target, and we will at least know the cannon is operational. Either way, it seems well worth the risk, but how are we to infiltrate the Castro? In anticipation of a day such as this, men and women under my command have labored long to cultivate a network of informants throughout Girabania, including Ridiata. Radiata is home to many who hold menial positions at Castromavani and other nearby installations. With the aid of our allies there, I believe we can secure a route into the fortress. The Resistance will handle this. <clears throat> you may have recruited these informants, but they'll be just as happy working with fellow Alamegans. And at the end of the day, it's our land, our responsibility. Let us do right by Conrad. I should be glad to accompany her, General, as will Alice and Zumakalis, I'm sure. Well then, if you are all in agreement, I see no reason to refuse. We will make ready to march on Castromabania. Go, and may Ralka watch over and keep you. Fudge, yes. Apologies for speaking on your behalf. It would seem thy sister's forthright manner is rubbing off on me. I confess, my decision to volunteer was not wholly motivated by concern for Lise, nor less Alamigo. Castromobania is the largest imperial facility in the peaks, you see, 
and so the likelihood that Cry will be held captive there is quite high. Dealing with that cannon remains our main objective, of course. But if there is even a chance that Cryo might be rescued in the process, I would never forgive myself if I did not take it. You're damn right, man. We've got to get in there. And then what? I'll be able to take a Codex, a Planisphere, or a Tuck. So, to review, we have to travel to Radiata, where we will meet with a contact recruited by Marshal Terrapin's agents. I took the liberty of reviewing intelligence reports while Zubacas and Lise were away, so the settlement is not wholly unfamiliar to me. As the Vice Marshal indicated, the vast majority of the populace is employed as menial labor in either Specula Imperatoris or Castrum Abania. Perhaps as a result of this, the Resistance has long struggled to make inroads there. Ah, you have the right of it. They got a better deal than most Alamegans, feeding off what scraps the Imperials gave them. Damned if I know how Marshal Terrapin's agents got one of them to turn his coat. I understand your disdain, I do. But I also understand their desire to look after their families by any means necessary. Our contact is a rogue in woman. She will ask us a question. After we answer with courage, she will know us as friends. Courage, right. Put together a squadron, Nago. We'll need them soon. With me, my friends, and be ready for anything. Oh, is this going to be an Ether quest? Brazen Brook. Shouldn't have done that. Whatever. Well, this one gives me options of bracelets. Hey, you're that venturer everyone's been talking about, aren't you? Just the man I wanted to see. You've a bit of time to spare, I hope. Well, I guess I do now. It seemed a bloody miracle we managed to take Alagiri without spilling a drop of blood. But it was all thanks to one man. A man the Alliance would very much like to speak with. Getting him to come in for questioning, however has proven more trouble than we thought. It's not my place to be dealing with this, to be honest with you, but I'd like to think it'd be best to resolve the matter quietly, if possible. Things could get messy around here if the Alliance or the Resistance start kicking up a fuss. I'm like to draw attention if I leave my post, but you adventurers are free to move about as you please. So what do you say? Can you give me a hand? You adventurers are good folk. Now, I really shouldn't say much more out here in the open. You best go and speak with him yourself. Balt's his name. He can tell you at the rest. Tell you the rest. Okay, sure, sure. What's up, Balt? It's about damn time. The adventurer who slur, slew Lord Van Balsar? So they sent you to clam my head then. Brazen Brook sent you to help? Oh, thank heavens. You see, I am actually a centurion of the Garlean forces. Now, before you do anything rash, let me explain. When I learned of the Allied Forces approach, I knew we had no way of repelling them. So I ordered all of my men to retreat from Alagiri. I then planned to turn myself in, but I ran into certain... complications. I can see you're unconvinced. Tell you what, why not ask the villagers about me? When you hear what they have to say, I think you'll come to understand why I couldn't turn myself in. The place wouldn't be the same without him, and we certainly have no intentions of sending him to be butchered by the Alliance.
Where'd you hear that name? I won't have anyone speaking ill of him. Unless you're looking to pick a fight, you keep your mouth shut. I think I can take you. There you are. Frank. What do you want with Bout? He's not in trouble, is he? We already told the Alliance scum they can't have him. Really? They seem to really want to protect this guy. There you are. Now do you see the cause for my hesitation? In light of their reaction to my being arrested, the Alliance has allowed me to remain here for the time being. But, for all intents and purposes, I am a war prisoner. The villagers initially meant to keep me hidden, but harboring one's enemy is a serious crime no matter whose side you're on. And I've heard what the Alliance does to those who help the Garleans. The stuff of nightmares, I tell you. My execution is assured the moment they take me into custody. But if the villagers should take arms and protest, they don't deserve such a bloody fate. Brazen Brook has made a valiant effort to assuage the people's anger. But there's only so much a man in his position can do. I know how strange this may seem, but I want you to convince the people of Alagiri to allow for my surrender. Okay, so that'll be a future side quest. Was there three more? Three more left in the peaks? Probably over here. Good blade, huh? It's a heck of a name for a fort. And see, this actually reminds me of the old school Final Fantasy Doma Castle. It's a little, it's a little fort castle next to a river. the giant seahorse dragonflies. See, what did I tell you? Let us continue on to Speculum Imperatoris. Head on through. Head through the ruined fortress.
There's still, still a few stragglers. Some Imperial soldiers hanging around. It's a big bug. Wait, what? True Griffin. Neat. Of course, there were still soldiers looking about. Fortunately, there were no match for Leeds. Come, Radiata is not much further. Of course, in light of our recent encounter, it would be prudent to process, uh, proceed with caution and remain vigilant for Imperial forces. I'm sure we'll find at least one more. I do want to take down a true griffin, though. Come here, true griff. Oh, Ricky. Come back. Come back, birdie bird. Ooh, a hexadrone. Alright, tank. It's time to get busted. A two ton Magitech missile. Whatever. Unless we're talking megatons, I don't care. Circle of Death? What does that do? Oh, spin to win. Hey, true Griffin hide. So they do have drops. Is that a giant camel? Yep, it's a. It's a jamble. Jamble, 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 jamble. That's awesome. Whiplash. Just hits you with its long neck. Jawa Hunch. With a hunch. Looks like it's safe to enter. I don't see any Imperials. 
Hmm. I don't see smoke above cash from a body anymore. Do you think they fixed the cannon already? It's entirely possible. I would rather they didn't. Now what's in the play here? Shield, ninja weapon, dragoon. Alfino said we were looking for a rogue woman, right? And that we should answer her question with courage? I suppose we'll just have to strike up a conversation with every one of them until we find our contact. Let me know if you find her and I'll do the same. Five year energy. Daffrey. Did you find a Rogan and Woman? Nope. It'll be a very tall lady. Young Hellsguard. Ain't seen you around before. Takes a certain kind of man to walk into a place like this uninvited. One with courage, I suppose. Courage, you say? Well, that's in short supply these days. Better to keep your head down and go along to survive. Call me a coward too if you like, because I'll not speak on it more. At least not here. Outside, ready out of behind those barricades over yonder. On the other hand, well, that's another story. I don't know why she's a southern girl, but she is. Hey, was that who I think it was? Well, that's a relief. Or a trap. Either way, I have found Alfino and Alice. We'll meet you there. Oh yeah. Oh, here I go, here I go, here I go again. Not followed, were you? Good. That's all of you, is it? Let's get to it then. Name yourselves. We are Signs of the Seventh Dome, friends of Marshall Terrapin. Name Stark. Stark Woad. Rest you know, or we wouldn't be here. This is about Specula and Peritoris in the canon, isn't it? Just so. Can you tell us what happened? Hey, I heard uh, soldiers talking while working out in this mess. The Cerulean pipeline fuel in the cannon was destroyed by an unidentified male insurgent, they said. One man single-handedly disabled the cannon? That beggars belief. Nevertheless, that's what they said. It took a while, but they finally put the fires out and the engineers have been working day and night to repair it. Wish I could tell you more, but the incident had everyone jumping in shadows and afraid to say much more. To make matters worse, the Alamegan help have been sent home indefinitely. So the cannon could already be fully operational. We need to sneak inside the Castrum Abadia to ensure the cannon is no longer a threat to our troops. Can you help us? Ah, that much I can do. I have pieced together a map of the interior over the years, and I know for a fact that there are multiple points of entry. Impressive. If we split into several groups, that may improve our odds of reaching the fire control center. We may be few in number, but I have faith that we can see this through. Alright, 
give me... Trident. Alright, what's next, Alfie? As usual, Alfie has a brilliant plan. We'll see. We have it. Uh, we have that which we came for. All that remains is to make our preparations. Zumakatas, you and your ever-dependable allies will enter the castrum with my sister and I, by way of the ventilation ducts leading to the hangars. From there, you will proceed into weapons research and unleash bloody mayhem. At the same time. Alice and I will create a diversion elsewhere, and in the con ensuing confusion, Lisa and her unit will attempt to reach the fire control center undetected. This is straight up, straight up Star Wars. This is the plot of Star Wars. This is like Obi Wan, or no, this is this is Han Solo and Chewie causing a distraction and trying to sneak into the building, and Obi Wan going in there and picking a fight with freaking Vader. This is this is Star Wars. If all goes to plan, our three parties will subsequently converge on this location, and together we will secure the cannon before finally notifying the Alliance that they are clear to attack. Sounds simple enough. I'll go and brief Nago on the details. The rest of you come with me. We'll need, need to deal with the magitair controls before you can infiltrate the castrum. I wish every character had that voice. It would be so much easier on mine. However, I'm going to take a very, very short detour. Because I completely forgot that there was an ether current like right on the other side of the gate. I don't want to forget it. I think it's the last one. The last uh, exploratory current. 400 Northwest? Yeah, so it'll be like way back there. Hi, Griffin. So it's either going to be over there or up. I probably could have gotten this way earlier. Oh yeah. yeah I could have ran down here, I think. Awesome, yeah. So now there's just three from questing. Good, good, good. Uh, no. Goodbye, neck breaker. Neck taker. A ponderous porter. <clears throat> You're not from around here, are you? You never see an Alamegan strike up a conversation with a Radiata resident. But seeing as we're already talking, I have a job that's just right for an outsider like you. Talk with the girl behind that building over there and she'll give you all the details. She's a bit testy, mind you. Am I going to get stabbed in an alleyway? Prepare to find out. 
Ugh, a testy trader. It's weird. About bloody time. Here, take the supply crate and trade it with the merchant in Alighieri for food. He's usually lurking in an alley somewhere. Shifty bastard, you'll know him when you see him. Do not tell him a radiata native sent you. There'll be no grub for us if you do. So they want me to go all the way back there. Okay, well, I'll do that later. I'll do it when my travel brings me back. Not. Let's see if we have another patrol in the region. What is five year energy? I just want to see what it's about. Energetic Aruka. Huh. So a giant caterpillar that grew strong and ridiculous by consuming people. Fantastic. A pretty stinking soldier. A Imperial Hypnomicus. Imperial Hip Hip Hop Anonymous? Yes. An Imperial Hippopotamus. More. Use the uh, kindle. Clear Aruka. I have to kill every enemy at least once. Mostly just to find out what they drop and what it's worth. Twin Coon. Oh, massive cocoon spun by multiple island arugas. Cool. Almost there, friends. Your point of entry is just around the bend up ahead. The last patrol should be here any moment. Once you dealt with them, we'll be clear to advance. Assuming they keep their usual schedule, might be prudent to stay and watch for a moment after just in case. Sure. Ooh, dungeon. Dungeon time. The locks. Hi. Hello, Imperial Rear Guard. You better guard your rear from this ass whooping. She's gonna get effed up. At this point, why don't they just run away? Because, I mean, clearly the only one that stands a chance in hell is... the big guy. The leader. But all the peons are just like, well, I guess I'm gonna throw my corpse at the enemy over here. Be right back. BRB committing suicide. Be a main character. Ooh, high quality. Ouch. 
Now, I'm, I'm sure that I can't go through here, but... I just want to walk over. Cold Hoth. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Sneaking in through a little secret pipe hatch. By router, I knew you were a lot more good, but I never expected you to defeat them so swiftly. Zumakanas is the finest warrior I know, and I should like to think we have learned something from our time in his company. Now, where is the entrance to the ducks? Right behind you. I've mapped the branches, so you shouldn't have no trouble reaching the hangars or any number of other places. Understood. Thank you again for your invaluable assistance. As discussed, Zumakalis, we shall divide into two groups and proceed via separate routes into the Castro. Remember that our objective is to cause as much chaos as possible to draw the Imperials away from Elise and her men. Well, if there's nothing else, I'll return to the Resistance forces and show them to their entrance. May Ralgar guide you to victory. Woohoo! This is your last chance to make your preparations, Zumakalis. When you and yours are ready, we shall begin. You mean after I use the duty finder and pass roughly 20 to 30 minutes waiting? Ba da ba ba ba! I'm queuing up. Time limit 90 minutes. Level 69. Alright, see, average wait 17 minutes. So, in that case, let's roam around. Let's kill some things, explore a bit. Uncover some map chunks. Possibly turn in this uh, Ether Quest. Cancun. Explosion. Kill, kill it. Smack it with a book. Smack it with a book. Book bash. Huh. Super strong. I love the the different mage attacks. You just hit them with your focus item. Just like nah, read a book. <laughs> See with the red mage it actually makes sense because they have a freaking rapier. Which honestly makes me wonder, I haven't looked into it. Does the Red Mage do competent melee DPS, even though they are technically a caster? Because they are a hybrid of sorts. What do you have? Oh, hi. Well, damn, that was a much faster queue than I thought. Off we go to Caster Mabani again. Assuming everyone hits the button. Yep.
Ooh, high tech. star. Switch over to party check. Legion Acarius. An Avenger. Whoa. It's a gorilla. It's a gorilla bot. It's like a sick shredder helmet. Fighting Winston from Overwatch. Yeah, critical hit death flare. Feels good. Oh, the Mag Rotor. That's awesome. This is freaking fantastic.
That's freaking cool. Love it. Oh, baby. Slow down, slow down. There we go. Well, I'm gonna be hit by that. Ow. A little bit of Al. Damn. These my quick shots. Thigh boots. That's good. And a Valerian Archer's ring. That looks pretty dang cool. Wow, I got that too. Lucky me, I guess. Dark Overlord didn't want that monk thing? Or maybe they already had it. Ooh, okay. Magic tech. Odds. Okay, I guess we're gonna. Oh, hi. We're gonna fight Hypertuned. Screw it, and Kindle. So they're like super buff altered monks. Yeah, like mutated Rogan and monks. Legion Doge. Come rotors, regular rotors. These things are awesome. Can I have that as a mount? Can I have a rotor mount? Freaking motorcycle rotor monster all over Eorzea. 
or whatever this land is called. Fantasy land. Okay, here we go. Let's try and maybe break two of them. There we go, we got two. Two is good. Oh, there's a chest. I've been looking for these. Hell yeah. I hope I win it. What the fudge are you? Number 24? So it's it's monk like. So what are we doing? I see. I need to be standing in the lightning. Lightning and ice? Okay. Oh, sh. That was bad. Yeesh. No, 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 no. If you recover, what maybe throw some MP at the white mage. and fire, so I need to stand in lightning. Okay. And explosion. Interesting looking boss. It's brawler gloves. Sure. Paladin. Zenobian Paladin. Tank earrings. Yeah, vitality. So far, pretty damn cool enemies. Oh, hi, Mark.
so do all these bridges just have like ready ready to go robo troops in them so that's a great idea just pods full of death oh here they come That spread the love. Get a little harder. And big boom. I might hit 70 before the end of this. It's possible. I don't know why I don't have my food on, but it doesn't really matter that much. Is that the monk attack? She's just going, ho, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. Or is that the white mage? It sounded like a female voice. Must have been something the white mage was doing. Oh, hi, Colossus. Wait, you're not the X-Man. Carbuncle. Dang it. Get out of here. Archer bottoms, archer bracelet, and dark priest earrings. Hello, give. What's coming? Holy monkey. Inferno. Rahu Blaster. Ketu and Rahu. Bippity Boppity Boo.
No, they're going to be ads. Oh, the left arm grows. Oh my god. Well, okay. Shit. I'm gonna hit. Oh! Balls. Run away, run away, run away. Yeah, all the right arm grows. Oh, he's getting even more swole. Legion Deathclaw. Nope. Packer? What the hell does that do? Quick charge. Uh, no. No thanks. Get out of the way. Dodged most of it. I don't think I can dodge all of that. No, he's getting more juice. Come on, how much work can he take? Okay then. Oh no. Kill the charger. Just in case. Don't get cocky. Screw it. Big bomb. Yeah, there we go. And now he's gonna overload and just die. Magnatus has been added to the list. And an archer's octon. Let's see what this Magnatus is about. I obtain Magnatus. Wait, what? I obtain the Archer's Acton. Okay, I just got a bunch of shit for free. Magnetus. Oh, that's a freaking weird, cool pistol. My friend Zazzy might dig that a little bit. And what did I get for beating it? I got a Dark Priest Ring. Okay. I got a Dark Priest Ring, and I got... Earlier, Dark Priest Earring. So let's do a little equip swap. Dark Priest Earring. Yep. Pretty much better all around. And the Dark Priest Ring... Should be better than this one. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know if the stat spread is like perfect or whatever, but who cares? It's better for now. Oh, 
right, the, the Zelt skin coat. I forgot all about this thing. Evidently, I forgot about that one too. Item level up. The only thing I've yet to replace is my book. There's nothing, even though it's higher item level, like it's it has less stats overall. Fudge it. Let's go. Are you all right? Somehow, yes. Ah, I think that answers my question. We've accomplished our objectives as well. Lisa's unit should be advancing upon the fire control center in the command tower. Let us join them. Lise, thank the Twelve, you're all right. And you. There's the control center. Let's hit them hard and fast. Ready? And then Darth Zeno shows up and kills everyone. Oh, oh yeah, her. What's she gonna be? Is this it? It was you, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Do we get to see her unleash? I, I gave the order to fire. It was over. The skulls had surrendered. No one else had to die, and you killed them. Your own people. Your own comrades. You're right. I killed them. Ansfred, Rudolf, Emlyn, all the rest, trained and fought with every last one of them. Good soldiers to a man. I gave the order that led to their deaths. And I knew exactly what I was doing. But why? Why would you do that? They died so that all Alamegans could live free. That was all we ever wanted. We made a promise that we would do whatever it took, so that one day, one day, the Imperials would learn to accept us. But everything comes at a price. And if you haven't got the means to pay, then you pay with blood. Service guarantees citizenship, but citizenship guarantees not. It's not enough to do your part, oh no. You have to run faster. Fight harder, kill more and more and more, and only then will you be equal. That's just how it is out here in the provinces. You buy your freedom with blood. There is no other way. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You don't get to talk about freedom! You killed your own! They trusted you, and you killed them! If we have to buy freedom with blood out here, then... How about we make a purchase right now? Murderer! Butcher! Traitor! Oh. Sharingan. Oh 
Okay. Lease. Gotcha. Getting a little bit Naruti in here. Oh fuck. I know what you can do. I've already seen it. Alize. Even so, the odds are against me. So what the hell is she? Is she a fighter or an assassin? A ninja? Coward! <laughs> Get back here! invites you to join him for the royal hunt to be hosted at the palace. You may bring your horde, if you like. All are welcome. Going out the window like Rufus Shinra. She'll be all right, but we'll need to carry her. Will you help me? I can do it alone. Thank you. Lise, I leave matters here in your hands. Uh, right. Well, we did it. The costume of Banya belongs to us now. Nago and her people took Alize to Radiata to receive treatment. Alfino tells me she'll make a full recovery. I know I should be happy. We won. And with minimal casualties. But somehow, it feels empty. We should report to General Alden. Kryal wasn't here, but who knows? Maybe one of Robon's men found something which could lead us to her. Can't hurt to ask, anyway. Okay, what do I take? Striking pants? Maiming pants? Sure. Mount speed in the peaks increased. Awesome. Good stuff. Robon's invitation. Probably gonna go for healing pants. Zumakaris, Commander Hext. Fine work you did today. After Specular Imperatoris, we needed a resounding victory like this. Thanks to you, Raga's star yet burns bright. I'm glad. Really, I am. But you should know that Alize was injured in the fighting. Regrettable but I am pleased to hear that you will make a full recovery. Fordola's parting words, on the other hand, ring less favorably in my ears. But if Xenos wishes to invite us to his so-called royal hunt, then this bull would fain accept. What troubles you, Lise? Oh, it's... it's nothing, really. Just that... we're almost to the end. But we've still got to save Kryle and do so much more. We'll find her soon enough. Pippin has his best men scouring Castrum's archives as we speak. Listen, Lise. It will take time for us to fully occupy the Castrum and prepare to advance into the locks. While we wait, there is something I would like to show you. Both of you. After all, this may be the last chance we have to catch our breath before the final push. I don't see why not. 
Okay, what is it? Then come with me to Radiata. From there, we'll need to follow another road south. My retainers did yet. Yes, 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 they are. There we go. It's a nice little speed boost. chain extends out of these dead-end paths, I'll have to go back and do a few things. Gotta check the retainers, send them out on another mission. Even after all these years, it's still the same. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You deserve a proper welcome. Is this your house? Liberty or death. Zubacalus, please. I brought you both here for a reason. I wanted to show you this house. My house. You mean, this is where you grew up? Aye. Not much to look at, is it? Same could be said of the village. It was damn near impossible to live off the land, barren as it was. Which is why so many of us traded our plowshares for swords. Swords and uniforms, mind. We became military men. Tensions were rising between Alamigo and the Empire, and there was always a need for more soldiers to watch the border. It was only a matter of time before the first skirmishes broke out. It's a frightening thing to face Magitek armor for the first time. But, after a lot of trial and error, I found ways to bring them down. After a few victories, people even said I had a knack for it. And then one day they hit us. Hard. I was wounded and sent home to recover. Back here. Ooh, the echo. Gonna get another vision. Will you remain silent for fear of the Mad King's vengeance? Of his eyes and ears in the shadows and his knives in the dark? You, who call this living, dishonor our nation. It is but a slow death. Liberty or death? Liberty or death? If this be your creed, then raise up your hands, raise up your voices! Together we will tear Theodoric from the throne! Together we will reclaim our freedom! Look at young Robon here in the crowd. <laughs> they don't show his face, though. Didn't show his face all baby smooth. Send you home to men, did they? Aye, sir. Garlean's got the better of us. The 
The chirurgeons say I'm healing well, so it won't be long now. Liberty or death, is it? Tell me, soldier. What do you think those words mean? Uh, we... We must needs be willing to die for liberty. Spoken like a true patriot. But liberty should not be the end in of itself. Liberty is a chance to build something better. A stronger, more prosperous home for our people. It's not quick or easy work. And it is never truly finished. But if you neglect it, then sooner or later, you look up to find you've traded one tyrant for another. Relevant. Well, sir, uh, I've never asked for much. Never wanted to live like a king, just wish it were a little bit easier is all. For me and everyone else. And I'm... I'm willing to die for that. If that's what it takes. Dying is easy, soldier. Living is harder. We're all soldiers now. Rest, mend. Regain your strength. You'll need it in the days to come. And may at one day we will need it too. Conrad chose you as his successor, Lise, and I will not gainsay his decision. I have but one question to ask. Liberty or death? Those were Curtis's words and his creed. Will you swear by your father's creed before your comrades and the gods? Liberty or death? That's all you can hope for in war. Father understood that. And you want to know if I do too? I swear to you, here and now, I will fight until the end. Be it liberty or be it death. But the freedom we win must be for every Alamegan. Even ones like Fordola, though they may hate us. And the Ananta, though they may fear us. We'll fight, and we'll talk. And we'll find a way to make it work for all of us. Compared to all that, retaking our home will seem like the easy part. Hmm. A good oath. And there is naught else to say. You are indeed your father's daughter. Even a blind man could see that Lys, Lys wasn't herself. Not that I don't understand. To be thrust into a position of authority under such circumstances, to be made responsible for the lives of so many, it isn't easy. And when you see your friend get cut down before your eyes, it only gets harder. I'll wager she thought Alice he was dead for a moment back there. It is one thing to risk your life for a cause, but to risk that of another, is a burden no soldier is truly ever ready to shoulder. The fear, the guilt, it weighs on her, and that's good. It will make her a better commander. But first she needs to learn to carry it, to not let it break her, to remember that some causes are worth fighting for. Liberty or death, her father's words gave me strength once. We have to do the same for her now. Right then. I think I've said enough. The two of you can head back. I mean to stay a bit longer. Looks like another request. Sagar. 
So you're one of those adventurers, aren't you? Travel this way and that, always hoping folks. Well, I believe I speak for all of us here when I say we need your help. I'm sure you've noticed, but we don't have much. The only reason we get by is a merchant who comes and sells us supplies. I say sell, but it's so cheap, he may as well give it away. Trouble is, without so much as a word, he suddenly stopped coming. I go and search for him myself, but anyone who could have kept watch while I'm gone has been conscripted by those damn Imperials. Would you try asking around Radiata, if uh, anyone's seen him? He always talked about going there, so I figure it's a good place to start. Alright. I understand. He's been away for a long time, and he probably wants to be alone for a while. Let's head back to Radiata. Oh, there's a bunch going on up there. Okay, let's have a, a brief little pit stop here. And then we will resolve liberty or death. And our ether current mysteries. <laughs>